I'm going to give a quick overview of SpaceX Falcon Heavy and the latest news on its first launch. The Falcon Heavy is a reusable super heavy space launch vehicle and once complete it will be the most powerful operational rocket in the world. It's essentially a Falcon 9 rocket with two additional Falcon 9 first stages strapped on as boosters. The first launch will take place at Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A. What all needs to happen before the long awaited first launch? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover all major news of SpaceX Mars colonization plan, the BFR, and all things future. So if you're interested in SpaceX and knowing how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. Alright, so I just want to follow up on my earlier video about SpaceX plans to send two tourists around the moon. At the time of making that video, the first launch for the Falcon Heavy was projected to happen in November, but that's now been pushed back and will likely happen at the end of December. So if you want to know more about SpaceX moon mission, click on the notification card at the top of the screen. Alright, so even though the Falcon Heavy's first launch has been pushed back so many times, there are a lot of smaller tasks that still need to happen in order to prepare for the launch. The Falcon Heavy's first launch will be on the heels of some kind of classified launch uh, that SpaceX is doing and it's called Codename Zuma. Um, so once Zuma is completed, SpaceX will need to complete the work required to transform the LC-39A launch site for the Falcon Heavy launch. The first thing is that the three first stage cores are currently in the horizontal integration facility at Kennedy Space Center and they all need to be connected together. Next, SpaceX transporter erector needs to be modified to carry the Falcon Heavy. The transporter erector is the vehicle that transports rockets and helps set it up for launch. The erector will undergo cutting and welding operations along with some rewiring and that's all so that it, it's compatible with the Falcon Heavy. Lastly, compression bridges needs to be installed on the launch pad due to the sheer weight of the of the rocket weighing over 3.1 million pounds or 1.4 million kilograms. Once the Falcon Heavy is assembled and set up on the launch pad, there will be a static fire test of the Falcon Heavy in mid-December so be on the lookout for that. A static fire test is a rehearsal of the launch and that includes firing the engines at full thrust while the launch vehicle is held attached to the launch mount. Um, so the test fire is for a few seconds in order to test the engine startup while measuring pressure, temperature, and propellant flow gradients. And all this will lead up to the first launch in late December to end a successful year for SpaceX. So completing the Falcon Heavy will be a huge, huge milestone for the company, giving the company the ability to launch heavier payloads than ever before. The Falcon Heavy will be able to launch over 140,000 pounds or almost 64,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit compared to Falcon 9 which can launch a little over 50,000 pounds or almost 23,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Plans for the Falcon Heavy were revealed way back in 2011 and with an initial launch of 2013 but that has been delayed several times due to technical challenges. One of the technical challenges is managing all of the engines. With a total of three Falcon 9 first stages, the Falcon Heavy will have 27 Merle 1D engines firing all at the same time, which is very difficult to do. Instead, they'll be fired two at a time till they're all lit. Elon Musk is not expecting a successful launch for, uh, for this first time around. He says that there's a good chance that the rocket will not make it into orbit. At minimum, he hopes that the rocket launches far enough so that it doesn't damage the launch pad. So there you have it. I mainly wanted to keep you guys up to date with the Falcon Heavy's launch date and provide a little insight of what needs to happen to prepare for the launch. I am so pumped to see the first launch and I have no clue what's going to happen but I hope that they knock it out of the park. But I want to hear from you. What is your prediction of Falcon Heavy's first launch? How do you think it will go? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.